hello guys and welcome back to this video my name is destiny and i'm very happy to see you here so in the last videos in the last section we went ahead and completed the create update delete and the listing out of pages um, from our database on our front end part of our website so over here let me just open it up so over here when we come over to the latest question we get all the questions now we can ask a question over here for example let's say i want to just paste all this and i'm going to ask it as a question i hit post question and as you can see we have this now so when we come over here you see we have it so we can either open this and we can update for example we come over here now we can say updated updated and hit post question again and as you can see it's updated it we can also delete so we come over here and delete and it comes here so from here now as you can see it's gone so this is what we did in the last section in this section we're going to go ahead and start working with some main functional parts of our website but in this one we're going to go ahead and actually grant some restriction access or let's say functionality to logged in users for example let's say i want to log out i log out and now if I come over to slash question okay that's not still bad I'm supposed to be able to view questions even though I'm logged out then when I want to take any question um, or ask any question then I can log in so but now how about I come over to slash one what do you notice actually it's gone so let's check slash two what do you notice I actually have the access to actually um, you know come over to this and do you think that's um, a good idea? Yes, it is. It is not a bad idea. But what is going to be the bad idea is hitting this delete button and actually saying that um, you're going to be able to delete this page. That's a bad idea. Or actually hitting this update button and see that we want to delete that. That's a bad idea. But for now, let me show you guys something. Okay, okay. For now, let's say, you know the delete page. Let's say we want to access the delete page. Okay, we see page not found. Um, we need to log in before we do that. Actually, that's something we want to grant access to. So the first thing we're going to do is come over to our views.py. And we want to import what is called login required. So we import what is called login required mixing. So what is simply going to help us to do is actually before a user is allowed to view any page, they are supposed to log in. So, you know, in the real stack overflow, um, a user can actually view a question without logging in and see the question list and view a question without logging in. But whenever they were asked or answer a question, they must log in. So for now, um, question list and question detail would be cool but what of the crates view so now this user is logged out but how about he want to access um, the create view what do you notice he still does that and we don't know want that see he's not logged in but he's still accessing the create view and that is um, pretty much a bad design that we're pulling off over here so we want to restrict this user whenever they want to ask a question we want to make sure that they log in so in order to do that well, that's why we import login required mixing from django.contrib.alt.mixings we imported it so all we need to do is come over to wherever we do not want them to access and we are simply going to pass in login required mixing just before the create view so we don't want we want them to log in before the create and we also want them to log in before they actually update okay and one more thing we also want um a user not to be able to create okay let's just leave that for now let's just keep working with the login required and i think also for the delete page we also want them to like you know be logged in before they can delete a user's post which is almost even impossible it's not even gonna work so with this now let's refresh this page what do you notice it's one a login but it's saying page not found where should I go? See, in the URL, you see it's on the login, but it doesn't know where to go to. So in this case, we are simply going to tell it, hey, go to the login page. As easy as that. But in order to say that, we need to come over to settings.py, uh, you know, scroll up a, up a bit um, to the, okay, I don't know, I'm just making a mistake. We need to come over here. Then we need to specify what is called um, login URL. So we need to specify what is called login URL and this is going to be said to so simply login just like that. So now when we come over here and let's get rid of all this, come over to question, then we want to create a new one. What do you notice? It brings them to the sign in page. Now, if you don't have an account, you can sign up or you can sign in if you want, whatever. Anyway, it's still, it's still cool. So with this now, when the login, 
um, now they can come over to the question page which is kind of cool you know just take a look at it but now how about a user um, want to update this question this is it okay it's the question is gone I don't know why I keep putting it so we have this question of right? how about a user want to update it what do you notice for tree forbidden why because in the views.py let me just get back to the views.py we have this over here so if we don't have this um, um, it's, it's not going to work yeah, let's just put it that way. It's not gonna work. So you wanna make sure you have user passes, test mixing, login required, and this. Okay, so I think this is it for actually granting restrictions. And you know, when you're working with class-based views, it, everything is kind of different when you're working with function-based views. For example, in order to grant restrictions, you remember we imported login required mixing and this. But for the class-based views but how about for function-based views how do you grant um, a restriction access to users okay let me show you guys something in our stack users we want to open up the views.py okay what do you notice you see we are importing this thing that is called login required from django.contrib.org.decorators so this is the one that Django function views the function based views uses so it uses login required and this is gotten from the decorator over here but in the other hand this one is using login required mixing whereas this one is using login required and you know this it's kind of different um, from the way we pass them this one we pass it um, at the top of the function just like this and also I think I want to pass it um, also to this one yeah yeah pass it to that so you see how we pass in the login required but this one over here we just pass it in with the create view okay I think that's pretty much it's 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 not really long it's something that you that's self-explanatory and hopefully um, you understood what we did over here it's quite easy there's no biggie about it and I hope I'll see you guys in my next video before I go ahead and cut this video I want to actually drop a like subscribe and also drop a comment about your thoughts in this video and I hope I'll see you guys in the next video my love, peace out.